the largest and the most important part in your ux field is design research design research is the most important topic as a ux designer because even though you start as a ux designer or you are an advanced player you need to know this topic what is ux research because that is 90% of your job once you try to solve your problem statement you can't do it without research so in order to people who are already confused about ux research let me tell you that the complete ux research is divided into two important buckets the attitude and the behavior the only thing that we want to know as a ux designer is try to understand the attitude of the people like what are they actually feeling about my product what do they say hey i don't like this product i don't like that product that is so difficult to use what do they actually say part 1 behavior of the users how are they actually consuming your product how am i using your product right now that is the most important part so there are only two important things that you need to understand every time you go ahead with some research a user research maybe you decide two important buckets which is the attitude and behavior to do that we have multiple different methods which is qualitative research quantitative research ethnographic research and a lot more so qualitative research is something that a lot of people use depending on the need qualitative research is all about you know going and talking to limited amount of people one on one or focus group interviews but quantitative research is when you want to reach to a larger audience for example surveys you might have seen people go ahead and randomly put surveys saying that hey i am doing my new case study this is a survey for you why don't you just help me and you know uh, fill the survey for me so that is what people do when you talk about qualitative quantitative research people want to go ahead and ask the surveys from the people qualitative research which is more personalized sit one on one with the users some of the methods are user interview card sorting empathy writing user diaries mood board focus i know a lot of you don't know what is this but definitely if you want any specific topic to be covered in depth you can definitely ping yash and into the blue group over there blue learning we'll definitely come back with that session but this is just to give an overview of the complete ux field then once you're done with that there is something called uh, ethnographic research also what does ethnography research means to solve a problem statement you need to actually visit the geographical location where the problem is happening for example you want to design something for farmers you can't sit over here and design right you have to go to the go to that person and live his life for a day or two or a week and then try to understand what he or she is going through and only then try to solve that problem statement right you can't sit over here and understand what is going out wrong with that uh, farmers out over there right so that's why this is very important to go ahead and uh, understand the problem statement in their own location that is what ethnographic research is all about and this is something that excites us a lot of people because you get an opportunity to travel from point a to point b i have seen companies who travel from india to us just to do the user research because people out there might be biased in terms of opinion so they would want someone else to come and cover that uh, the companies that have worked like lollipop people have traveled from like mumbai to gujarat to ahmedabad to other states to goa and have stayed there for a week or two and then came back with some other solutions so going forward that was all about user research just focus on two important part whatever you do as a research method the main outcome is just simple either you are trying to understand what people are thinking about my product or you want to understand what people are behaving in my product how are they actually using it going forward there is something called market research and product research so like i told you research we can do around the users around the products or around the market right so product research we have some methods called market research benchmarking competitive analysis gap analysis tech feasibility check up i know maximum of people would be like ye kya hai what is this i don't know but that is what it is there's a lot of other methods also i have narrowed down to some point and i'll explain you one of it also say for example competitive analysis this is the most important keyword that a lot of people have heard competitive analysis is all about when you're searching for a market or you're searching for a product when you try to solve a product say in gaming domain or a uh, say ott platform domain or an entertainment domain what do we do we do the product research and the market research we want to compare our product with all the other competitors that are present in market so we'll go ahead and write all the products all the all the uh, companies name that they are solving the same problem statement and all their pros cons their positives and their negatives and then come up with the fact that oh these are these are the important things that these competitors are doing because they are very successful right now and these are the issue that because of them they are coming down so i don't want to repeat their same problems and same mistake let's just learn from the market leader benchmarking is all about when you want to benchmark yourself to a certain level okay i see this company 
company as my idol. So I'm setting a benchmarking for this company and I need to reach that company. So you will have a very close observation on everything that that company does. That's why we have business analysts, we have marketing people, we have sales people. So they would focus on that business development associates, which is BDA, will focus on their market strategies. There is BA, like business analysts. They will focus there and tell us that, you know, this is what something they're launching. Why don't we go ahead in that, that way also? Then we will come to the UX designer and try to propose a solution around it. Oh, 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 oh,